So I'd like to do a video about the Scarlet Jabotacaba. This was purchased in October of 2020. I bought it as a six inch small seedling and uh, it was in a pot for, you know, for I'd say a good two years. And I, about six months ago, I decided to put it in the ground just because I figured it was getting large and, you know, close enough to a fruiting age. Um, yeah, so I think that would make the the age of this tree from seed to be about almost exactly three years. And this variety is known for fruiting anywhere between three and four years. So today I got some pretty exciting um, news because uh, I looked and I noticed that it's actually fruiting. I have my first fruit set. It's not much, but of course you'll see there's two two small fruit and yeah and I'm not sure one day appeared but I just noticed them today and I noticed there's maybe one more flower coming So that's pretty much all I've noticed so far, just two fruit and one flower. But this is good because now you know that, or at least now I know, that the scarlet variety really does fruit in three years from seed. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. And as far as height, I know you probably can't tell but I'd say it's it's probably about maybe like four feet tall. And I haven't done anything special to this at all. I mean, I, I have, you know, maybe given it a little Epsom salt and just nothing special, just some cow manure. And the only other thing I did do is I, I, I put some um, garden lime, like the dolomite lime. But other than that, that's it. I haven't done anything special to it. But yeah, that's, that's super exciting to see that, you know, it does fruit for those that are impatient and like to see fruit as soon as possible. I'd say try the Scarlet variety. Oh, one other thing I should mention, um, it's really important is that um, Although Jabotacabas do well in the shade, meaning that they, they look better, they look healthier. You'll, when you put them in the sun, you'll notice a lot more yellowing in the leaves and a lot more burnt leaf tips. But in the shade, they tend to grow a lot better and faster. However, I'm not sure if me placing this you know, in, the, in the sun had anything to do with, you know, it producing fruit faster, but I would say that there is a good chance, especially considering you notice that the fruit are are on the side facing the sun. So yeah, some things to keep in mind because most of my jabotacabas are, are back here in the shade, and that's where they usually are. This this big red jabotacaba. I put in the sun and I noticed that it almost didn't do anything in, in terms of growing. It started getting a lot of yellow in and just looked like it was drying up. And then I put it back in the shade and then it immediately started putting out new growth and looking a lot more healthy. So it's kind of interesting that they, they need the sun but they don't like too much sun. Anyway. That's enough about Javada Carlos. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.